was, uh, I was a bit worried about doing this show in the Me Too era, a middle-aged man saying provocative things to a young woman, so I would like to thank Roast Battle for giving me such a horrible old one. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not that old. Right. I'm just very tired because, like you, I have kids. Unlike you, I spend time with them. <laughs> no. oh. Richard, <clears throat> you're so squat. <laughs> you look like if you sat on a wall, you would have a great fall. <laughs> You're calling me Humpty Dumpty there, really, on, because I'd heard your nickname was Humpta Dumpta. I'm not ashamed. I know very, very sadly you and your husband struggled for a long time to mm -hmm. have a baby. It was uh, very tragic in, in lots of ways. And finally, you opted for IVF. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering how long it did it take the consultant to stop laughing when you told them your name was Baron? <laughs> I want to clarify that I wasn't angry at that. I was just distracted thinking what Stuart Lee could have done with that joke. <laughs> we wouldn't have time. <laughs> Sarah, I, I happen to know uh, that you have an unusually long labia. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, <laughs> I've been told uh, that your labia was the inspiration for both the monster and the title of Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect for any guy who wants to know what it'd be like to fuck a paper bag full of calamari. <laughs> uh, in, in fairness to him, they are long enough to braid. I'll admit that. Um, <laughs> Essentially, it's like you've got bingo wings between your legs. Is that... Is that, is that, is that, is that Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Richard does a podcast. Don't know if you guys have heard it. It's one of these sort of like rambling interview podcasts. <laughs> so my question, my question to you, Richard, yep. is who do you think gets filled with a, a greater sense of dread and obligation? Your wife, when you want to fuck her, or your more famous friends when you ask them to go on your podcast? <laughs> this one's called uh, Valentine's Day. It's, it's, it's based on a true story. So here we go. Valentine's Day two years ago. I just been dumped, he's all alone. He's crying to me down the telephone at half past eight, but it's too late. He's already seen Black Panther alone. <laughs> he's already been kicked out of a weather spoons. He said, I wonder if she's missing me. I said, probably, but I was thinking. She doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't love you anymore. I was 100% sure. She doesn't love you anymore. She still doesn't love you anymore. No amount of TV shows would ever mean that she loved you more than her fiance. She doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't love you anymore. She doesn't love you. Anymore. She doesn't love you, Ed. Just fucking move on. It's been it's been three years, come on. It's good to have a hobby, you yeah? know? <laughs> Anyone can learn to play the piano. But some of us don't need one to justify our presence on stage, because we can... <laughs> Because we can write actual jokes. For example, an actual chords, though. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs>